my name is Amber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and the sign to watch with me. Today we are back with more Dang No Rompa Trigger Happy Havoc. Uh, we just kind of left off with the trial ending. Uh, last episode was kind of a longer one. We got through the trial. Um, Makoto is going to bed for the night and that's kind of it. Um, super sad. We lost our dear um, compatriot of Alter Ego, which sucks. I wasn't expecting that at all, so that was really cool. Um, but nevertheless, I'm very excited to continue playing. Hope you guys are as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, guys. So we left off with Makoto supposedly going to bed, but apparently the night still wasn't over for him. A voice. I could hear a voice. Oh, boy. What? Wake up. Wake up. Huh? Voice dragged me from deep slumber to a hazy house. Half consciousness, my eyelids were like lead. Why are you in my room? Are you gonna kill me? Oh my god, is she gonna kill me? I'm gonna be very upset if she kills me. I trusted you. Yes, it's me. Kyoko? I said yes. <laughs> so Kyoko's here. Wait, what? Are you gonna kill me? Time unknown. What the fuck? In a flash, I was wide awake. What are you doing it's here? True. I'm here to wake you up. Oh. I see. Wait, but my door. It was unlocked. You're unbelievably careless. It was unlocked? Are you serious? Always. And you don't have to overreact like that every time you're surprised. What time is it? Three o'clock in the morning, of course. It's 3 a.m. Why was Kyoko waking me up at this hour? Well, this says midnight, so someone's lying. It's so late. What happened? I have a favor I need to ask. What's your favor? So... Remember when Sakura said at the end of her note, I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan to do that? Then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered. The data center on the fourth floor. What? Goodbye. I'll meet you there. Hmm. What the? Her words reverberated through my half-dazed head. Data center? But I thought it was locked. Leave the area? I guess! Name away in the after hour school and headed to the data center on the fourth floor. Oh good, they just took me there. Eventually I wound up at the data center, but when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. That's weird. She said she'd meet me. She may be inside. Put my hand on the door with a certain amount of force. It didn't open. Try it again. It must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor? Whoa! Oh ho! What are you doing up, mister? Gah! Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But I can see that, you adult! Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself! It looked like you might break in in a second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder! Or are you gonna try and tell me you were sleepwalking or something? No, nothing like that. Yeah. It's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know? Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Just a second. Why are you out here making a racket? Kyoko. <laughs> you no! <laughs> you guys? Whatever! The two of you, just get back to bed! I'm positively exhausted for the class it's trial. True. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto. Let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going Shall on anymore. Go? Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Okay. <gasps> yeah, go on. Get out of here. Shoo, shoo. What the fuck just happened? And then. Goodbye. So, goodbye. Hold on. Listen, what was this all about just now? She woke me up, maybe go to the data center, which was so happened to be locked. And then she shows up late and we leave without a single thing. What was the point? 
Don't worry about it. I figured that would be the end of our conversation, just like always, goodbye. but... Well then, goodbye. Sure. And then that was over. So weird, but as I turned to leave... Mukuro Ikusaba. Am I supposed to know what that means? <laughs> Kyoko is right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. The sixteenth student lying hidden somewhere in the school. Oh, the one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Mukura Ubasapa something? Oh. So there is a 16th student. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thought we only have six. Who dies? Who dies? Oh my god. We received the altar lump. Oh great. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I'm so glad we got that. That's great. I'm so glad. Mukuro Ikusaba. Mukuro Ikusaba. Mu Mukuro... <gasps> Mukuro Ikusaba. Mukuro Ikusaba. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student lying hmm. hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Hmm. That was three days before the next incident. It faces another murder. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. Huh. Interesting. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall. Hmm. Let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from the pointless small talk. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? It just acts like it's high his own insecurities. That's just what I think anyway. Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the squirrel like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this of matter. Huh? Hey, Choka, you've been pretty quiet. Man, you're so boring, now you just sit there like a mushroom. Gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. Hmm. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. Oh god. What? But she can't open her mouth. She can't eat or drink water. I don't care. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? <laughs> oh, honey. Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this is small talk Biakia warned us against. Come on. And yet I let myself get involved. And now it is finished. I'll never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop ruining your mouth. Start moving your legs. Pressure fight. Obvious irritated. Yakia, we all started exploration. Okay, where are we going to find now? I would assume the fifth floor. <laughs> mm, I probably have to. Go to the fourth floor. Okay. So we need the other staircase. Okay, no. Okay. I would assume we have a fifth floor. Yes. Okay. Up we go! What are we gonna have on this floor? Whoa, look at the bamboo! It's totally different than the floors we've seen till now. Feels unpleasant. I don't know, I would beg to differ. This seems much more pleasant than the other floors. Just my personal opinion. 
No one's been murdered on this floor yet. Let's get dirty. Cool, cool. B, anything in B? Haha. Uh -huh. Catch me if you can, wait. I'm gonna punish you. Gross. That be Akuya? Why? Who drew this picture? Oh, Toko, what's wrong? Is she trying to say something? I think she's almost a little more. I might get it. I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. She looks so sad. Oh, Poor Toko, I'm so sorry. Wow, this floor is really cool. I really like this floor. This one feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's nothing too creepy. That's terrifying. We're gonna go to this room first. That's terrifying. We're gonna go to this room first. Um... Um... The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled, it was sour, pungent, and possibly rank. Smells awful, doesn't it? It's... It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around a fair share of corpses. Are you saying... <laughs> smell of death and their flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right. I had experienced the smell more than once. It's the smell of death and despair. But the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of battlefield. Monokuma must have... What? My fault again? Stop trying to blame everything on me. If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. No, 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 no. Quite the opposite. The opposite? Let, let me give you an itty bitty, itty squeaky little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs in those mean old RPGs. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody gruesome deaths every day. So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep living, soldier. What's he talking about? He just left it this way? What's the meaning of this? Holy shit, this room is so fucked up. An eye for an eye. What the fuck does that even mean? And it's not even like pink blood. It's like red old blood. Here's all the blood stains are dry, and their color has changed as well. I think it's safe. Yeah, considerably old. Is this all really blood? Of course, I would find it interesting otherwise. It is interesting, I assure you, what on earth happened in this classroom. Seems like he's enjoying himself. No way I can keep up with something like that. Oh my god. Thank you. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of marks from the bodies. I've seen this kind of thing at detective shows, but you always see it at the scene of the murder. Should I say I don't believe it? Oh, God. Look at all the scratches on the door, too. Um, Byakuya. About what Monokuma just told us. Like I'm not even here. He must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard, or is he just flat out ignoring me? Yeah, we're just gonna leave. Uh, hey, Hina, don't ever go in five C, okay? I I respect you as an individual and as a person. Don't go into five C, like ever. Everything else about this place is cute. Like I like this floor still. Just. Y y I'm, I'm going to pretend I never went in there and you pretend you never, ever, just don't go in there. My god. What is this? Bio-rar. 
places. Uh, oh, it's locked. We came all this way just to be denied. The sign in the hall says Biolab. Biolab that we're forbidden from seeing into. Sounds like something from an old cheesy horror movie. Hmm. I, I, we're leaving, I guess. That's terrifying. What is this? I don't know what that says. But I'm not going into the bright room yet, because that seems terrifying. Oh, it's a dojo! Look at the soccer panels! Oh, how could I not like this floor? We're just going to ignore that we saw the bloody room and focus on all the other positive things of this floor. Yo, Kyoko, what if we kissed in the dojo? Even though this room is actually close, there's a cherry tree planted here. It's in full bloom. It's quite elegant. Is this what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? I guess we'll talk to Kyoko. Kyoko, what if we kiss in the cherry trees? Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Oh my god, they're gonna keep saying this name. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Yeah. I got you, girl. I know, girl. Don't you worry, girl. I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Ah. Okay, it started up to the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me. Now, whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on that information that could be important? So then. We're finished here. Okay. Awesome! Woo! Let's leave. God. So weird. Okay. Um. Yeah, so the last thing to look at. We're not going back to 5C. <laughs> I guess we'll go towards the light. At this point, I don't know which is worse. Oh, it's a garden! Oh, look at all the Venus flytraps. You can murder someone like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What an interesting death that would be. Wow, what is that? This thing is super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to be that big. Is this thing real? Ah, Jesus fucking Christ! Why do you fucking scare me every goddamn time, you fucking freak of fucking nature? I swear to God, I will feed you to the Venus fucking fly traps, you fucking ignorant fuck. Oh. I'm okay. I'm okay. That's a Monokuma flower. I came with that name myself. Try and touch it, and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plant's all like, snap, and your flesh is all like, blah, 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 I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing, if I do say so myself. A student at Hope Peaks added improvement after improvement. Create this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist, although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. The tragedy? Were we aware of this before? I think, oh yes, yes we are. Um, We read about it in that room before all the shit got taken away, the secret bathroom room. Uh, They mentioned the school closed down because of a tragedy or something, right? I'm guessing the tragedy was 5C. If I had to guess now. It can eat paper, plastic, even people, so it's totally good for the environment. Wow, Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future and growth of a healthy society. But not that I've known anything about that myself. Ah. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Woo. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. Is that a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? Ah, chickens! There's regular chickens, right? They don't look like they eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy. Seems safe. Oh, I'm supposed to look at every single chicken? It's a chicken. Not gonna, like, lay a bomb. It's a chicken. They feed, like, humans to it. 
It's a chicken. Is it really right? Like I can say that for sure. It's a chicken. Is it really alive? There's no mistake. I only have one more chicken left. It's a chicken. Does it have like a second form, right? Cool. Well, that was fun. Step away from the chicken coop. <laughs> Sir, I'm gonna need you to step away from the chicken coop. <laughs> Do you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly. Hmm. Five, you know, the number that comes after four and six uh, in terms of natural numbers. Anyways, whenever the five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. Right. The number of power, a refreshing number on part with hand squeeze all natural lemonade. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. Yeah. What's that? Just be sure I take a look at the tool shed. Pickaxe. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Bags of fertilizer. Uh, garden tools. Pickaxe. Crazy diamond. I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Yeah, I don't remember. There's a lawnmower. And some pots. Um, yeah, that looks to be about it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we got look at that little box thing. Oh, okay. He, like, blocks it if I turn too far. That's annoying. Some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? Yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. Sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. Of course, the setting panel is locked, so you could change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers so that means the sprinklers go off 7.30 every morning. Yep, you got it! This is all things I need to remember for this next case. I can already feel it. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched, so watch yourself. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway! Or do you have some kind of water fetish? I'm gonna tell everyone! <laughs> okay. Yo. At first I saw blue skies, but Turns out it's just painting the walls. Oh. But the plants are all real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. Helps me relax. Oops. Knocked over my lipstick. What the heck? That's not what you're thinking, is it? Why is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface. Beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching, waiting. And when they can't decide, they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore. The end is not They'll put their plan for global human extinction into action. Well, I'm serious. Cool. Awesome. Anything else I need to look at in here? I really like this floor, all except for 5C. I feel like there's no creepy mysteries besides, you know, 5C. Uh, what's that? Oh, the sprinklers. Oh, the sprinklers are in the ceiling. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely going to be important, isn't it? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna head out. Guess I've seen what there is. It's again, nothing I seen to make any real sense. Head back to the dining hall. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, not before long. Hmm. Appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just six of us. There's barely enough for a decent volleyball team! <laughs> hey, don't be a sourpuss. We just gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still build a basketball team! Guys! <laughs> I think your priorities are in the wrong place, okay? We have, um, people are dying. There's a possibility of another person. You guys aren't privy to the information, but I know there's another student running a fucking mug. There's a lot hacking happen in here, okay, y'all? Y'all need to, like, fucking... Okay? Okay? 
Mm, my god. Oh. Hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyways, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Okay, we'll start with you. You were in 5C. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no, strange is a massive understatement. The smell of flesh, fat, and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. Oh, what the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's smell concentrated. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. Oh, thank God she didn't go in there. Whew. I'm so glad you listened to my advice, honey. Thank you, Hina. Thanks for listening. I knew we were gal pals. Thanks. <laughs> but, but I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So in other words, I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop! Seriously? I'm gonna throw up! Can't be. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Yes, girl! That's what I was thinking! <laughs> You're thinking the same thing, then. My theory is, the mass murder that took place in that room is an incident said to have happened one year ago. An awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy? It has to be! That's horrific! Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Host Peak Academy. That's true. That would explain why Host Peak was forced to close its doors. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful! They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless. But still, how is it not one of us have heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Okay. Yeah. We'll just go from left to right now, I think. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. They used to be kind of Sakura's job, but mm. anyways, no dice. They were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. So, um... But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. <laughs> what exactly did you notice? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? So because if you did, you might have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every other floor. Oh, yeah. There's no more stairs. I guess I didn't, like, put two and two together, but there isn't no stairs. There is no other floor we can go to. This is the last floor. Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what we're talking about? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. What? But that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it! Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, I I'm sure. We'll we absolutely will make it out. No matter what it takes. Okay, next. Hey. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Yeah, and there's not a lot of shit on the fifth floor. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? If it were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature, like the final boss or tyrant or... But... We're not in a horror game, though. Are you sure? Hm. Either way, we don't need to worry about what it is at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood no matter how much you think about it. Truly. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well... I don't really like how you said it, but... What you said is probably right. What? <laughs> no, how I said it is right. Cut tan. Uh, we'll go with Toko. Oh, I forgot she can't fucking talk! <gasps> ah! So annoying. Hey, Byakuya, it seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. <sighs> I've forgotten about that. Jeez, man, I know you're, like, torturing her, but come on. Hmm. Well, Choco, if you want to envelop us in envel envelope, whatever, also in your protrude breath, I won't stop you. You honor me, master. 
again. So don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. Huh, seriously, you're just gonna take it. Shut up, and don't interrupt when the master and me are talking. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? Well, I was in the cl classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. Whoa! That's a goddamn real ass knife! Whoa, that thing is huge! It's like Rambo size! What? It's a survival knife of some type. But what was it doing in a classroom? Oh, How would I know? Very suspicious. What are you gonna use that knife for? What do you plan to do to us? I'm not gonna do anything! I just picked it up! I didn't want to leave the knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. <laughs> Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. Listen, more important than we have the knife. What are we going to do with it? No. We can't let Toko keep it. That's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyways. It's dangerous. So what do we do? So then. Why don't we hang on to it, Makoto? Huh? Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. Then that's that. Hold on. Don't I get to say, yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't like, I don't want to be in charge of the goddamn knife. If something happens, I'm fucking responsible for the fucking goddamn knife. What if the goddamn knife fucking walks around and it's own? We don't fucking know. I don't like that. It's all clear now. Just shows how much they trust you. You should do what they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're using me. <laughs> okay, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine, I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. <gasps> Do I still have bad breath? Sorry, sorry, sorry. It stinks. I'm sorry. It stinks. I'm sorry. Fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? 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 Did Master just praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. When <laughs> that would ever experience such a dream. Oh, I feel strange. I guess it's strange, really strange. Oh no. <laughs> Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. And one more. You know? Well, there's a big garden on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and a tool shed. Oh, whoops. Sorry, 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 you know? sorry. I meant to question you on all these things. <laughs> Monokuma said there was a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. Serious. It's a totally man-eating plant. I'm sure it's different from the ones that live in pipes, though. Anyways, that must be a benefit for the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh, yeah. Apparently, the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the mm. dot. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched to catch cold. Yeah. yeah, we don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know? <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. I... I think you're thinking of ducks. Mm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what ten plus ten is? Hey, come on! You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But it'll make you happy. I'll answer your dumb question. So, what was the question again? Oh. Don't worry. You just answered it. Okay, next. The chicken coop. There's a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop. Mm. That's right, five. Five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens! Let's raise them big and fat and then we can make fried chicken or barbecue. Decisions, decisions! Oh, how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? Yeah, you're not supposed to eat raw chicken. Girl, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're just getting mad at him for being dumb. Okay, so we need the tool shed. No, it's a two, that pickaxe. Hmm, what about the pickaxe? Yeah, it had like diamond something. Crazy diamond. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? It kind of sounds familiar. It's not Leon or something, is it? It's true. I just think, I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. There. Ah, oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. Oh. Weird. Why? What the fuck? But 
Why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Could it be? Muda must have snuck in there and done it, right? Not possible. Mm, but we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mono brought it up when he first came here and Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck on to me. Is tool shed the pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, that stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all, huh? What's it? Oh. I know, this was a lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. I gotta call for help with a lawnmower. I don't know, maybe we can use it to make crop circles. Why couldn't you have been the killer? Why couldn't you have been dead? Oh, why couldn't it have been you? Why couldn't we kill you? You're such a waste of time. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. You can use those to call for help. What the heck happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know? You know? Well, back then my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. Ah. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. Hmm. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo. So then what do we do? Hmm. Well... Starting today, you're all under my command. Before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um, so, what is it you want to figure out? Hmm. Kyoko's identity. Huh? Well... Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko is Kyoko, right? <laughs> yes, but who is she? The rest of us have clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Help Peaks Academy. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, Hiro's the ultimate clairvoyant, even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days. So what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Um, that you mention it, she's never told us. Hmm. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway. Hmm. It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like, this is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? <laughs> We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicions. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Huh? What? Why? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? Oh. Does she not have memories? And that's why she was like, what did you do to my body? Because she realized she doesn't fucking have memories. So. Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory, you mean? Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. You can't be serious right now, can you? I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us. Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Okay. What are you gonna do? Torture me? Hmm. Nothing so barbaric as that. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? What? Give me the key to your room. But she gives you her key. She can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking school regulation. Hmm. She doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she can do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that. Fine. fine. I understand. Hmm. Good. You're finally in the mood for a conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakuya and held her room key to him. It can't be. You damn fool! Why do you refuse to talk? Because whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, Maybe um... she really did lose her memory. Um... If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever, where the only worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right in. The worst school where only the worst things happen. Do you really mean that? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us, thought a word, began to walk Come away. On. Where do you think you're going? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to harm to any of you. Those are her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. The heck? What's her deal? But... I think you went too far. Taking her room key like that? For her, <laughs> that wasn't far enough. Or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. 
You're getting noisy again, Toko. Uh, Come on. sorry. I can still hear you. The sound of you breathing, your heart beating, it grates on me. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... That's... But what's Kyoko gonna do? Plus the situation. It's just like before. It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. What the hell are you yelling at all of a sudden? I mean... Look. Oh, hi. How long have you been standing there? I'm very, very angry! Angry at what? At the thief. Yes, that's right. I'm sad to say to tell you there's a thief in your midst. Huh? My precious! They stole it. Your precious? Your teacher has your... such faith in you. Reality is filled with such hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away from their fantasies. But what the heck is your precious? Shut up! I hope all of you get stuck in a hearing free hiring freeze and die penniless on the street! What the heck? And he's gone. What the heck was that all about? He said something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? It's likely has something to do with Kyoko. Hmm? Hmm else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma. Did Kyoko really steal something? But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? Ding dong, bing bong. Hmm, weird. So weird. I wonder how many more trials we have left. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hmm. hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet night. dreams. Weird, okay. Um, you know? And about hmm. Kyoko. However, what happened just with Monokuma and Kyoko? I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your room. Don't go wandering around. Oh. Not like we need you to tell us that. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Ah, that's right. I need to put the knife away that I got from Toko. I think the safest place will be in my desk drawer. But anyways, is Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she gonna do? If I was him, i put that goddamn knife in my, um, bathroom. I know it doesn't lock, but honestly, I would put it in my bathroom so at least it's one more shot of me hearing it. Someone snuck in again, like Kyoko did. Something I can... Did I fall asleep? Sleepy time. I know. So I open my eyes, I realize I've fallen asleep without realizing it. More important, did I hear the doorbell? Should I grab my knife? <laughs> Hello. Kyoko. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Okay. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but I just. I can't just not go. Okay. Hello. Hey. Sorry for asking to meet me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Correct. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean... Does this have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. What did you steal? Oh. I stole this. Ooh! A key! Looking at it, I couldn't tell. It was just any key. It's shaped like Monokuma. It's probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? So. From the headmaster's room. How the fuck did you get into the headmaster's room? How did you get in there? What, wasn't it locked? Oh. The lock was broken. 
What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Mm -hmm. Remember when she said, no, no, I'm not going to lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us? That's right. That's right. So that we could uncover whatever secrets might lie hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over. But I'd only just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. Oh, that's why she sent us over there. Mm. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order Correct. to. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took the opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Wow. Then what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? You Interesting. Must have. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Hmm. Watch out for her. Did you find out about this Mukura Usaka? I can't say the name. <laughs> Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mukuro Ukusaba is dangerous. Dangerous? In other words, she may very well be the mastermind. Mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have any proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Yoko. But if it isn't the headmaster... Does that mean Mukura Ukusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway, anyway, this key is one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, I can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key been unlock? So... I don't know yet, which is why I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go out and find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous! And you want me to just draw his attention? But we don't actually know there's one mastermind, right? What if there's more than one person watching Is us? Right? But they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe he just got lucky. Oh. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Mulakuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. I mean, she is doing it with Makoto, who is the ultimate lucky student. So, hypothetically, if she's going to do it with anybody, it'd probably be with the ultimate lucky student. You dig? We're successful, and we may have just been a lucky guest, will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. If it's true that the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then that would have to be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think what might happen Why if we fail, that? I don't think you need to worry all that much after all. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hosby Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve mysteries. Am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us without a second thought. I see. I see, in that case, even though the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove the hypothesis. <laughs> in the moment of crisis, will all the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other, words. in other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now, there's no reason not to do it, right? But if you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Fair. We know the danger, and if the risk means solving the mystery, we have no hey. choice. Am I wrong? That moment I finally realized. I never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery behead. And then we standing before us, and with that in view, she just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel. And I wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. What's this? It's true. 
Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. If something happens? However, I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey, please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it just because you asked me to. But I'm gonna get it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I discovered. Sure, because there's a chance the mastermind might find out. Indeed. Well, there's that too. You mean there's something else? Wow. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I just can't forget that so easily. Then. Okay then, shall okay. we begin? I'm counting on you. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give him my best goodbye. shot. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. My curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace and left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my son's stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's gonna be fine, I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here, I got a bone to pick with you. A few moments later... Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out. Hey, hey! Hey, by the way, huh? Most what were you and Kyoko up to? Going in the bathhouse, just the two of you in the middle of the night. Definitely a hot, steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet and warm and wet, I bet you guys. Removed to conform the local and international sense of jet laws. That's funny. All over her, didn't you? Oh my god. Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. But whatever, unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X rated exploits. Oh, so this is why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse. Well, die! Or is it maybe because the lens get all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. Anyway, you went through all the trouble to get me out here. Now, what do you want? Oh, well, um, there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Whether I'm a mediswell or dude fella? Mademoiselle or dude fella? Dude fella? Dude fella? Actually. But in the bear kingdom, there is no male or female. Um, actually, there is. Seriously? My then what am I? Existence. That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much, so what do you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious have been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question, no way. It's possible and all, but is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding! You gotta be a hundred megaton freaking kidding me! You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or are you curious in breeding tip? This is just crazy! Our old prepubescent boys as nutty as you? God, you're so annoying! Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key. And. Fuck. I'm uh, fucking. That's it. What was the second thing? It's a blank statement, a secret. Fill it in yourself. Making me trudge all that out here. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Phew! I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine. Right? Went back to my room, laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Kyoko's not gonna die. She can't die. Miyoko, if Kyoko dies, I'll be deeply upset. Like, Theater, brought to you by Spike Soft Company Limited. Oh. Oh? It's Sakura in a 3D model. What the hell? What am I watching?
Oh boy. Was this how her execution would have looked like? I was been waiting for unfortunate development canceled, of course. If not people, who knows? So buy copies for all your Foo Foo Hopes Academy. Oh my god. <coughs> oh! Well, that was interesting. Hmm, hmm this super stylish, fashionable game was canceled during development. It'll start back up again if Dank Europa sells well. Then you guys have to. Then you guys have to. to okay. Too. Okay. I could do that. Huh. Weird. Good morning, everyone. Get ready to go. Bring in another beautiful day. Aye, aye. My body feels so heavy this morning. Must be because I was up so late last night. Need to get to the dining hall. Yes, um. Um, I'm gonna save quick. I'm just feeling a little nervous. Okay, to the dining hall. To the dining hall we go. Wop, 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 wop. What? You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your you really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Huh? huh? Are you allowed to talk again? Hmm. I don't recall giving you permission. Oh, I just thought, I mean, since I hit pass, I maybe reset. Hmm. I'm sorry, 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 don't hate me whenever my punishment is all accepted. I'll hang a sign around my necklace's back, girl. Clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. You stop making disgusting comments like that. Maybe I can forgive you. Thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If you do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. <laughs> as long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. Uh, it's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. So, um, anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch. Or a date, your wedding, or anything. Um, Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, you so... Know. Oh, yeah. You still have her key, right? What's this? Ah! Are you looking for Miss Kuragiri? What? What do you want now? Oh, God. Hey, hey. I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kuragiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Huh? Well, it's hard to say. Huh? You don't know either? What? Because she, he doesn't know. That's why he's here, too, to try and prod us for information. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is? And then they name some Indian bullcrap? Oh, indie. I thought it was Indian. <laughs> indie bullcrap. I'm not used to people calling indie things unless it's a game. I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Maybe the mastermind... See, but why isn't she back? Is she stuck wherever she is? Could she have been right? Hey, hey. So was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri. Any ideas where she may have gone? Hm. You have no idea. What the heck? Maybe if we did, we wouldn't tell you. What the heck? We're serious. Hmm. I see. Well, fine. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Suranara suckers. As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um, Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, how can we n not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Kyoko must have used the key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice. Where could it be? Spent the rest of the breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Hmm. Oh, is it free time again? Phew. Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. 
feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Huh. Ah, 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 ah. I guess... Uh, you know, what the fuck are we gonna do? Um, who are we gonna talk to? Um, I need my phone for this part. Um, so we can't talk to Kyoko, which sucks. Um, the garden. Okay. He's in the garden. Hello, sir. I would like to talk to you and take you away from Toko. Thank you very much. Hello. Yes, I want to spend time with you. That's fine. fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Spend some time with Byakuya. Grew a little closer. What would you like to give him? Yes! Just want the coffee, bro? I've got like two of them. I see. Now, this is a rare moment. Coming from a noble family, I've never been exposed to such vulgarity. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. Seeing Byakuya so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Hmm. Listen, Makoto, I want to ask you something. What could Byakuya want to talk to me about? I have a bad feeling. I'm sure what's up. You know, only a chosen few, perhaps 1% of us, are able to succeed in life. So, in other words... So, the other 99%, their dreams never come true. Some never even have a dream in the first place. Spending every waking second toiling to scrap together a meager living, just barely getting by. I just don't understand. Is there any meaning to life like that? Why are you asking me? Because you're part of the 99%, of course. Why did he even feel the need to ask? I knew he was going to insult me. Up until now, I've never been around anyone like that, so I'm interested. So tell me, how does it feel to live a life without hope, without potential or ambition? Come on! I don't have ambition or dreams. I've never felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, maybe I'll never be rich as you or anything. Do you have to go around saying that to everyone? Can you only be happy by being better than everyone? <laughs> Your complaints are as old and tired as a third-rate pop song from any generation. And yet, those are the words of 99%. That is how you find comfort in your tiny, cold little world. Stop saying stuff like that. Sorry, <laughs> I can't not speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you will never be in the position to change the world. Ow! Dick. But... If Makoto marries you, he could be in that position. He could be in a lot of positions. We'll just keep going. Whether that's true or not, it doesn't matter. Even if you live a totally normal, unimportant life, you can still find happiness in that. If you can find a life, live a life that I'm satisfied with, that's all that matters. If I spend all my time comparing my life to others, I'll never be happy. Sure, maybe you could do that. You were guaranteed success from the day you were born, so hold it. From the day I was born. You have no idea. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. What? What? Those who are chosen from birth have no concept of what truly means. I have gone to battle and emerged victorious. That is why I am the chosen. What are you talking about? You're spoiled, all of you. Running away into a world of self-indulgence. Battle, competition, rivalry. You run away from it all. That is why the 99 walk the path that they do. Good God, you absolute lack of understanding makes me weep. After showing a surprising amount of emotion, Byakuya quickly made his exit. What the heck got into him? He's acting totally normal up until... Until I said something about being guaranteed success from the day he was born. I wonder why that set him off. Hmm. The envious influence. Huh, interesting. I can't stop thinking about Byakuya while I went back to my room. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Where is Kyoko? I'm like deeply concerned. I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead and now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. Jeez. More free time! I guess I'll go spend it with um... Hina? Yeah, I'd rather go spend time with Hina. I don't think we have everything for Hina yet, right? I should look at that. 
Um, or is she in the bathhouse? I'm not sure. This is her. Yeah, okay, cool. Hey, girl, hey! Do you want to hang out with me? Do I have anything? Yeah! Yeah, totally. I hopefully have something you like. That will suck. I did not check. Hopefully I have something you like. You okay, let's go to the pool. Swim time! Oh, but uh, don't stare, okay? Actually, don't have a swimsuit. Sure, it just gets embarrassing. Although I wasn't embarrassed before, but now I kind of am. I wonder how come? What's swimming with Hina? Kind of seemed embarrassed. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes, I do! Um... So... Uh-oh. 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 I don't have anything for her. Uh-oh. 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 Wait, she doesn't like the water flute? It's water! It's a water flute. Why wouldn't she like a water flute? She likes these. She likes them. Here you go. You yes, the queen accepts this royal tribute. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks, Makoto. Get the impression she liked it. That's good. Uh, so hungry. Oh, Makoto, help me. I'm hungry. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Need food. Anything. I don't care if it's a stack of paper. I need food. Why don't you just eat some more Just donuts? I can't! That's my secret weapon for emergencies only! If I keep gorging on something with that many calories, I'll get fat in no time. She even cares about that kind of thing? I mean, she is an athlete. What? Besides, I don't want anything sugary right now. I want a salty snack. Like potato chips? Mm. Like ramen. How's that a snack? Huh? How's it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Show you without you a doubt. It. Ugh, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories and also. Okay. A porktastic tokusui girl through and through. And you don't care about calories. <laughs> the key element of any is the butter and extra fat. So you're okay with all that oil? Oh. <sighs> Talking about it just makes me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it to the dining hall. Are you sure? Though, I mean, a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. <laughs> Who says stuff like that? Are you a real man, aren't you? What are you afraid of? Afraid of ramen? You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. Are you still Hina? Shut up! Get on my way! I'm gonna show you what a real man looks like. Or are you gonna stand in my way and suffer the fist face consequences? No, I have no intention of getting in your way. Okay. Then don't! If I don't do this now, when am I ever gonna get a chance? Huh. Well. Cool! Glad we did that. Made my way back to my room. Uh-oh. I don't like this music. God, I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. I can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't a for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. Dropped in my bed and felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. God damn, Poor Makoto. He is getting sick. Oh, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. We back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all I'll have to say. Oh my god, he's like dying. I was restless. Ugh. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under understand. That voice it was so familiar. It's. I understand. It's me. I understand. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Huh? Why am I trying to stay? This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. Okay. My dream just now. What? He's becoming delusional? Strange. Huh? Oh! What the fuck? Oh, 
god, hi! Kyoko? What the... What did you... What did you say? What the fuck is happening? Okay! Cool, 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 cool! Every day is peaceful, every day is joyful, happy days from time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom, repeating forever and ever. No abnormality as far as I can see. Life without the teeniest speck of abnormality. If we're like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. True. What the fuck is going on in this game? Seriously, what the fuck is going on? Good morning, everyone. Get ready. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I was almost stabbed, apparently, and Kyoko was standing over me again. What the fuck is going on? I'm so confused. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Huh, I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up to rest of the wake. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable, they all disappeared in the night. All that was left for me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I caught either. It was also the dream I had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and recall them, but deaths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. Came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then... I was almost stabbed. I was awake. The strange person next to my bed wearing a mask. They're holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I feel like my mind has been detached from my body, burning up with a fever. I was somewhere far away watching my body... And because of that, I don't remember what happened, but still. Do we have the knife still? I think that's the most important thing we need to be worrying about is do we actually still have the knife? Was it a dream or not a dream? Yeah, and then we remember Kyoko. I don't know. A strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How could I possibly find out either way? Uh, you look for the goddamn knife. That's what we do. Of course not! Why would it be there? It's empty. There's nothing inside. There ain't nothing inside that strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in there. Wait, that means... The dude took the knife. Whoever this person is. The other student, I guess. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? Who was that behind the mask? Why didn't I learn to lock my door after the previous night? Why was Kyoko? What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. I can talk to everyone else about it. On that note, we going to save and stop for today. Um, Things got really fucked up real fast. I'm very nervous <laughs> about what's going to happen since we lost the goddamn knife. Okay, so guys, I am super excited to continue playing Dana Rumpa. Um, it's been really good, very intense. I'm really liking this. Um, I'm very curious to see what will happen because we saw the dude with the mask was stabbed with a knife. So I'm curious who did it, if it was a setup. Like, I, I'm curious. Uh, Kyoko's gone, which is deeply concerning. So there's a lot of lingering things out there. So I'm very excited to see where it's all going. Um, and I'm curious, like, what will happen? Because it seems like Kyoko's figuring things out, so there's maybe a chance some of us will get out safe. But I don't know. I have no idea how many chapters are on this game. I don't know how many trials we, we do. I don't know. So I'm very excited to continue playing. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this just as much as me. I'm having so much fun playing it. Um, truly am. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!